Hi, it's Maura Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and welcome into my garden uh, here again at another Live at Five uh, talking about different ways that you can actually get a whole lot more out of your garden and get things started really simply and easily in this time when a lot of the shops have actually run out of seeds and seedlings and fruit trees and all sorts of things. So um, today's topic is all about the olive tree. So you may well actually have an olive that perhaps is in a pot or in the garden or down the street. You may have a friend who's got some and sometimes actually it's we don't get that many olives off them. You know, if you're not in a Mediterranean area, you can grow olives, but be left with just mostly the leaf. And so I was having a conversation with my olive tree um, some time ago thinking, you know, really maybe we should part ways and I'll find space for another plant. And then I started researching into the benefits of, of olive leaves. Because if you think about, if you've ever used olive leaf extract, you know, it's olive leaf. It's about building your immunity. It's about um, well-being. It has lots of great antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial properties. The list of its benefits go on and on. And it's been used medicinally since the ancient Egyptians and, and ever since. So I started looking at how to make the olive leaf extract and it looked a little bit fiddly. So I continued on my research and then I started thinking about, well, what if I just use the leaves as an olive leaf tea? And then I started to find all these different um, options for getting, you know, buying the dry leaf. And so I dug further and then realized actually the simplest way is to just grab some leaves off your olive tree and then just submerge them in some water for about 10 minutes and then pour it into your cup. And if you like, you can mix in a bit of lemon from your tree. And maybe a little bit of honey. If it's raw honey, that's even better. And mix that around. Now, olive leaf, as well as being a sort of a general well-being type of plant, uh, a, a pl plant part, it's also really good for coughs and colds and fevers and asthma and fatigue and a whole lot of things. So I'm kind of thinking that olive leaf tea might well be something that would be really beneficial to people who are who are suffering at the moment and who who are maybe feeling that they need a bit of a boost so and it's absolutely delicious you know the other thing about this is it is an alternative to green tea so you can instead of drinking green tea which has been imported from the other side of the world in in ways that you don't know how it's been made or, or packaged or processed or transported or the conditions of the people that have grown it you can if you have a tree you can simply get your own natural uh, leaf tea green tea um, straight from your from your tree I'm struggling with getting a little here we go so now uh, actually propagating your own tree is really easy too so if you know where there's a tree and you don't have one now you can simply take a stem and see, even here, you could take, that could be one tree, this could be one tree, and this could be another tree. So I've also, the best actually, is when it gets sort of like a, a pencil thickness, like this. So you take off a section, it can be, you can do tip cuttings, you can do semi um, hardwood cuttings or you can do the hardwood cuttings. I just sort of tend to take it somewhere in the middle. So something like that where you've got a node at the bottom, a node at the middle, and then you simply um, put that into the soil so that you have at least two nodes in the ground and I might put this other one in so I've got here a couple of nodes there too put that into the ground and uh, it's going to take a couple of months until they really start to strike their roots but it's as simple as that you know the the olive branch is a symbol of, of um, peace and, and friendship and so you know if you have extra branches or you're going to give your olive leaf a trim why not uh, hand your branches around and enable other people to strike their own olive leaf trees or if you know someone who has one uh, just take a nice pair of secateurs get a, a branch that has good good nice healthy looking new growth on it and then you can start to strike your own olive leaves and as well as getting olive fruit if you're in the right climate you'll also get all the benefits of having a daily olive leaf tea so I hope that's been useful and perhaps you have an olive leaf tree, uh, <laughs> perhaps you have an olive tree that, you know, knowing about the use of this olive leaf has given you a whole new understanding about the possibilities of what you can do with your tree. 
So thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll put some links down below to my COVID-19 Resilience Care Pack, which is basically a permaculture gardening toolkit to help you get a thriving garden happening really quickly and easily. And I'll also put links to my four-part permaculture series below, which gives you information about what is permaculture and how to weave it into your life and livelihood. And if you'd like to know more about how to get a thriving, incredible edible garden, um, I'll put links down below too to my introduction to permaculture course. So catch you next time uh, again tomorrow at five in my garden. Okay, see you later. Yeah.